welcome to Pure Design, I'm Jeline and in this tutorial I show you how to create the face distortion, retouching and blood with render pass and of course create this screen effect like in a photo booth as well if you are created this before just watch the last part of my tutorial and you're able to download the overlay and the counter as well for this tutorial so anyway let's start okay let's start and we start by creating the scene so go to your rectangle add a rectangle make sure it's full width and height and this one is our screen zero and duplicate this three times so go to copy command c and command duplicate command d and again four different screens and for these screens we need different materials so go to your material this one is screen zero and add for screen zero the shade type flat and we make sure that for our texture go to camera texture extraction so you see the texture camera texture zero right here down below and go back to your material the camera texture now you see nothing because this one is up here but duplicate as well this one three times and make sure that every single screen has the right material so now you should be seeing yourself again and we need just another rectangle so go to add a new rectangle as well make sure it's full width and height and add a material to it call this rectangle overlay counter and also the material over overlay counter go to your material make sure it's flat and choose a new animation sequence again call this one overlay counter sequence and for the texture go to choose file and I created these series of frames so we add this one later on as animation so we have a visual help to know when the frame will freeze make sure you select them all and now you see the animation but you want to make sure that it stops and just go under current frame and you select this we need this one later the patch editor will show up and now you see our whole scene the next step is to make sure that every single screen is in the right place for this we start with the scale select all screens go to scale just make sure you see a little bit more of our your patch editor and go to add and divide and a pack connect the divide with your pack and also with your scale and first value two and a second four now you see the right screen size for our grid by the way if you want, want to learn uh, how to create a grid with five with nine different screens watch this tutorial right here and now go to add a device because we want to make sure that this different screens are in the right place so add this one to your patch editor add a divide again Connect this divide to your screen, sorry, a, bit, a little bit, screen size and scale, and add a multiply. And
and connect this multiply to your divide so, so the first value is your divide make sure your number is two vectors and duplicate this three times command C command D and select again every single screen go to position now you see the input of your position make sure it's on the right place connect them now you see that every single one is down here because the setting are not right for the first one you only need uh, for x and y the same number so just go to number again and minus 0 0.25 so and now it's pop up right here. For the second value, the x is, is 0 0.5 and 0 minus 0 is 0.25 and this one is minus 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 right here and also this one only needs one number or one value so 0 0.25 perfect make sure it really is responsive so go to resizable win window and just stretch this one and it looks nice so far perfect now we want to make sure that we have this freeze frame function so i start with the first one a little bit more detailed and later you need to copy the, the same pipeline for every single material of your screen so for this one we start with our camera texture and we want to make sure that our camera texture is linked to a sender the sender is not necessary, but it really helps to organize your whole patch setting and your pipeline. So call the sender camera texture and we start again with our first pipeline. So we need a mixed a shader render pass and a delay <laughs> frame connect this one to your shader this one to your render pass and add two receivers we, we need for the first value the receiver for our camera texture and for the second one our delay frame and we want to connect the shader and a pass so this one right here to our first screen so when I go to alpha and add a one simply the frame freezes but we want to add this to a screen touch and also to a delay frame because we need this later go to add a screen tab and a switch and connect them to turn on if you connect them directly and make sure that your simulate touch is on and you tap the screen stop that again we want to make sure that we add a delay to it so for example when I add two put this one right here tap one two hello it stops perfect now we need this pipeline for the other screens for this make sure you select the delay the mix the shader type and the delay frame copy this select this one right here copy this one again And once again, perfect. 
Okay, now you have this four times. Just zoom in a little. Connect this one with your textures. So this is for our second or uh, screen one. This one is our screen two. And this one is our screen three. And now we add the receiver. We start with the camera texture at three re receivers. So now we have this three right here. Connect the first one to your mix. Add a receiver of this delay frame. Connect this one, this one as well. Receiver. Now we want to make sure that the delay is working. So, why? Okay. For the first one is uh, two seconds. The second one will uh, show up after the two seconds, four seconds. So it's a delay by delay of uh, two and six and eight. We will change it later again, but just to show the result and make sure you are uh, it's working, connect this one as well like the first one to your switch. Restart and start. And the delay is working. Okay, the next step is the animation sequence of our overlay and also counter. So the thing is with our counter, I just open the material. Um, you saw before, um, this is our first frame we see before we add any action to it. But after that, we will see this in a period of time and connect the delay with our animation. I created these layer in Photoshop and the download link for this whole sequence you find in the description down below. Make sure you see your screen tab and switch add an animation patch to it and also a transition. Make sure the transition is number. And we had this, yeah, up here, the current frame sequence, the current frame, connect this one to your switch. So if, when I switch animation, the animation will start and the current frame we have a duration by 18 frames so we start always with the number zero so make sure in this case we start with the number zero and end with the number 17 so that are exactly 18 frames the default duration is by one so when I start right now it is really fast restart again and I tricked a little so not every single frame is exactly one second long. It's a little bit in between because uh, the flashlight is maybe it looks a little bit silly. So duration is by 13 and the duration, uh, duration of our delay starts with third three. The second one is six seconds after the switch turn on, nine seconds and 12 seconds. And now when I start, restart just in case, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah, one, two, three. 
Perfect. Okay, now to our last part. And for the last part, we want to work with the face distortion, pipeline, the retouching, and also with a LUT. And for this, we start with the face distortion pipeline. Go to your device, go to face distortion. Now it asks if you want to select a 3D object. I downloaded this face distortion pack from Spark AR. I'll show you in a minute where you find it and it's working right here. But first I want to show a way to find this uh, face distortion pack. So when you go on the sparkarfacebook.com and under learning and download you have the assets right here. So face, the face reference assets and of course I have the link in the description down below. So you, so you make sure you have the right assets, um, but you also can use your own 3D model if you want to. Now you see it um, destroyed the grid. The 3D model is working. It added this face distortion pack to it and also a face mesh, this one right here, created a face mesh and a screen output from our device. But I want to link it to my camera texture, this one right here, our sender. Delete this one. And now you see it in your original screen grid, what you designed. And now I want to fix this one right here. I want to make sure that in my face mesh, I the eyes, the mesh is not cut out, it's closed. So make, for example, this 50 and also the right scale 50 and maybe the mouth a little bit bigger. Perfect. The next step is to cre create the retouching and for the retouching go again to your device and search for the right um, output or pipeline and we go to retouching. And again, you see it, the frame is a little bit destroyed, but you want to check the retouching first. And it seems to be that it is working. And when you connect, you see also that we uh, created a second uh, face mesh. And we want to connect this one with our face distortion, so go to the disk texture right here and select the texture from our retouching right here and check it. Make sure just at 200% and connect this one to our pipeline right here. It's working and make sure that the device is off and now it's in your grid again. Perfect so far. Now we want to make sure that we add a LUT to it and for this if you want to know how to create work with your um, customized LUT, uh, how to work with that, watch this tutorial. This is uh, a little bit more detailed but I just want to work with a LUT from our asset library. You can also include your own LUT if you want to. Go to color LUT if you haven't any LUT prepared. And select this one. Now you find the LUT down below. Pick this line up right here. And ta-da, now you integrated a lot as well. You're able to work with the intensity in this slider right here. And now it's perfect. Again, you can also download the whole project right in the description down below. And of course, uh, you find there the overlay as well for free. And yes, again, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And of course, share with, with everyone who wants to know Ding. this. Leave a like, subscription and everything that helps me to grow this channel. I really appreciate it again. And we see us next time. Enjoy the process. Bye bye.